Hey guys, welcome to K-Life Online. First, it's Father's Day weekend. Kids, if your daddy's in the room, run and jump into his arms right now and say, I love you, daddy. Daddies love hearing that kind of stuff. And if your dad is not in the room with you, call him this weekend and let him know how much he means to you. And maybe as you reflect on those who have invested and spoken life into you throughout the years, a brother, an uncle, a coach, teacher, pastor, or even just a friend, I encourage you to reach out and call and text them. Let them know how much you respect and appreciate who they are and how they've invested in you. This Sabbath is week two of our summer sermon series in Christ alone. Summer schedules can be crazy. So just so you know, for the next two months, we will be studying and unpacking Paul's powerful letter, Galatians. Both this week and next, the messages from pastors Paul Hoover Sr. and Patty McCoy will come from Galatians chapter two. So we encourage you to personally dive in and get familiar with the passage. And to help with this as an extra resource, we encourage you to check out Kettering Connect, our weekly videocast where we spend some time reading, discussing, and processing the scriptures in anticipation of that week's teaching. Now you might be thinking, Jason, where do I go to find these weekly videocasts? Excellent question. These resources, along with several other ways to connect to content and each other, can be found on The Hub. If you go to KetteringAdventist.org, you will find The Hub. It's updated every week and is basically a place to both connect to content and share content you've created that could help others as together we navigate through this time of isolation. For myriad reasons, we are indeed living in unprecedented times. Times of social, relational, emotional, physical, and financial challenges. Times when we think about the future and we have more questions than answers. And yet, as we navigate, listen, support, and love each other and our community through all of this, our church continues as an act of faith and worship to give our tithes and offerings. And for this, I thank you and praise God. It is because of your selfless giving, we're able to partner together in ministry and meet the needs of countless in our community. As always, you can continue to share your gifts through the Adventist Giving website or by mailing your checks to our church office. Our world right now is full of constant changes and unknowns. Some houses of worship are opening and others are not. At Kettering, especially having so many members who work in healthcare, we want to gather only when it is safe enough for us to do so. And when we can gather in a way that fits our culture and values of being church. Many churches opening now have restrictions, including not singing, having bathroom attendance, no Sabbath schools, requiring masks and social distancing, and many other things in order to keep those attending healthy and safe. Here at Kettering, we want our Sabbath morning worship experience to be as powerful and helpful and safe as possible. But let's be honest, we desperately long for connection and community and relationships and fellowship. So church, what's the answer? Over the next few weeks, we'll be starting to unpack an exciting, fresh vision for what Kettering worship can look like during the summer. We're simply calling it Be Home Church. Essentially, we're encouraging all who are healthy and comfortable with this to simply gather in a very small group, perhaps at a home or park, to safely watch the service and then discuss the teaching of the week. Maybe you host a watch party with another family or gather in a small group for a Sabbath afternoon walk or hike, and when you do, bring up the teaching of the day. And to help with this, we'll actually start providing a few open-ended, easy discussion questions to get the conversation started. This will be our model of church until we're finally able to gather together again safely as one church, one faith community. Like you, we're not 100% sure, but we anticipate this happening toward the end of summer, sometime in September, probably when the new building is done. But when we do gather again together, church, we have some big, new, exciting plans. Like, honestly, it's gonna be awesome. And speaking of these new, exciting changes, I'm gonna let our interim lead pastor, Pastor Paul Hoover Sr., give you that information. Thank you, Jason. Church family, our prayers have been answered. We have a new lead pastor. Following 10 months of searching, our lead pastor search committee and the church board voted unanimously to recommend Pastor Andrea Jacobson's to be our new lead pastor. 
We have formally extended a call on behalf of the Ohio Conference, and she has accepted. Pastor Andrea is currently serving at the Spencerville SDA Church in Maryland and plans to take up her responsibilities here around the end of July. Please join me in praying for Pastor Andrea and her husband Michael as they transition to begin their ministry to our church community. We look forward to becoming better acquainted with Pastor Andrea and Michael in the coming weeks. And with that church family, my name is Jason Kelvert, and this has been your K-Life Update.